everybody. What is a hydroxyl group? A hydroxyl group is a functional group that's comprised of one oxygen and hydrogen atom when they bond it together to a carbon chain, this compound is called an alcohol. One cool thing about a hydroxyl group is that it has a strong dipole moment. Electronegativity is how good an atom can pull electrons toward itself. Electronegativity follows a trend on the periodic table. The farther up and to the right you go on the table, the more electronegative the atom. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. So this means that the hydrogen will have a partial positive charge and the oxygen will have a partial negative charge. There are three types of alcohols we're going to talk about. Primary, <laughs> secondary, tertiary. This is a primary alcohol. This means that the carbon that the hydroxyl group is attached to has one carbon attached to it. Ethanol is an example of a primary alcohol that has tons of uses that range from the food industry to the pharmaceutical industry and it's even a solvent in perfume manufacturing. This is the secondary alcohol, which means that the carbon that the hydroxyl group is attached to has two carbons attached to it. 2-propanol is an example of a secondary alcohol that also has a wide variety of uses. In particular, it's a disinfecting agent in the medical field. So basically, the alcohol pads that they wipe on your arm before you get a shot are soaked in 2-propanol. This is a tertiary alcohol, which means that the carbon the hydroxyl group is attached to has three carbons attached to it. Haloperidol is an example of a tertiary alcohol, and it is used in antipsychotic medication used to treat schizophrenia and Tourette's. We are also going to talk about two types of oxidizing agents, chromic acid and pyridinium chlorochromate but we're just going to call it PCC. Both of these oxidizing agents affect each type of alcohol in different ways, so the type of agent you use is really important. Depending on which one you use, you will get a completely different product. So we're going to show you how this works. What do we mean by oxidizing? Oxidation refers to giving an oxygen atom to another organic compound. When a primary alcohol is oxidized by chromic acid, one of the products that you end up with is carboxylic acid, which is a single bonded hydroxyl group and a carbonyl group that share the same carbon atom. And when a primary alcohol is oxidized by PCC, one of the products you end up with is an aldehyde, which is a single bonded hydrogen and a carbonyl group that share the same carbon. When a secondary alcohol is oxidized by chromic acid, one of the products you end up with is a ketone, which is simply a carbonyl group attached to two other groups. And when a secondary alcohol is oxidized by PCC, the product is also a ketone. However, for a tertiary alcohol, there is no opportunity to be oxidized, so there will be no reaction with chromic acid or PCC.